I'm Cody, and today we're going to be leveling out the car. So, once we're prepped and ready, we can remove the floor pan, the car will stay level, and the floor plan will stay straight once we put the new one in, which is very important. And I'll show you here. And what we're going to be using to make it level is my phone. It has a nice little level feature, and is it accurate? I don't know really, but we're going to find out. Now, when we're going to level it, what we're going to be using are some 12-ton bottle jacks, which are great overkill, but these are the best ones I can find with the height that I require. Now, I put two bottle jacks right here in the seam. The reason I did that for is because that's where usually frame machines grab it when they put it on frame machines. Whatever they need to do on that. So I have my, both my front bottle jacks up here, right here on the seam, ready to lift. And on the rear, I have it on the back of the frame here, right next to the, right here under the frame. I have it right here under the frame right here in the back where it makes the bend nice flat surface right here so hold it steady and keep it there you see I have the same on the other side bottle jack well going to our level we're about three degrees off we're going to jack that up a little bit Look, see it's still negative three, so we gotta go higher. And that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just gonna be jacking up the back, make sure it's level, have the if it's zeroed out to zero degrees on my phone. So I'll show you. The bottle jacks aren't tall enough, so I stole some bricks from the garden. I'm sure you won't mind. I'm sure my brother won't mind. After all, he only grows motorcycles. Do the same the other. Phone is zeroed. Piece of technology zeroed out. I have my front jacks here. On the body lines. Other side, 
same place in the front and in the rears. I also put on the body lands right in the little divot that it has right here. So that should hold it pretty steady. But the backs weren't tall enough, so I had to put some bricks under. That's still from the garden. Not really much of a garden. And then I have my jack stands there set up to catch it just in case the jacks bleed off. And you come around the other side. You have the same thing. Model jack there. On the bricks, same height. Front, doesn't need that much height. So, here. Now, Level is zeroed out. And you shake the car around and you see it doesn't not move the level around. It still shakes, but they were pretty will set to sandblast it so I can see where all the spot welds are on the frame so I can drill those out on both sides there on the seat risers you gotta remove those you gotta sandblast it all this out all the rust and you can see there's some sand from when I sandblasted the frame there still some sand in there When I sandblasted the front about a year ago, engine compartment, which sat through the winter and rusted all back up. So I gotta do that again. Not sure, I'll probably film it, the sandblasting portion, but not sure how well they'll turn out on camera because it is quite dusty. And it's hard to see anything otherwise. Well, there we are. And then we do have a brand new floor pan to put in it. Right there. In the box. Under all the other boxes and boards and the engines and everything else that I keep in my living room. Because I'm not a normal person. Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you want to see more, subscribe, like the video, hit the bell notification on it. And next time I'll be either showing you sandblasting and cutting out the floor pan, putting in the new one, and I'll be there. So look forward to the next video.